Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Hamilton Stubbs, a board certified sleep specialist and also a nutrition specialist. Welcome to the YouTube channel for DrHamiltonStubbs.com. Today I want to talk about sleep and the part of the night that's most important. I've heard some people say that if you go to sleep after midnight, that sleep won't count toward being healthy, but that's not quite true. It, there are some things that happen during the first half of the night that don't happen during the second half of the night, but both parts of the sleep are important. So let's just take an example of a person who goes to bed at 10 p.m. and wakes at 6 a.m. and we'll use midnight as the end of the first part of the night and the beginning of the second part of the night. During the first part of the night is when we get the bulk of our slow wave sleep or deep sleep. And deep sleep has been the, found to be the stage of sleep where the body is flushing out toxins from the brain. This is very important because if those toxins do not uh, get removed from the brain over a period of time, research is suggesting that these lead to abnormal accumulation of proteins associated with dementia. Also during the first part of the night is when you start to secrete growth hormone and melatonin. Growth hormone is important for building muscle and melatonin just does a whole lot of wonderful things. It's anti-inflammatory for one. It's also thought to help fight against some hormone sensitive cancers. It helps to, you to fall asleep and stay asleep. There are many things that melatonin is doing because it's working throughout the body. During the second half of the night is when these hormones, growth hormone and melatonin start to decline and you start to get a rise in your cortisol level. Also, during the second half of the night, during the early morning hours, is when we get our bulk of dream sleep or rapid eye movement sleep. Rapid eye movement sleep has been shown to be important to the consolidation of memory. So if you're trying to learn something, you can get it into your short-term memory, but when you get into REM sleep is when you can get it into your long-term memory. So both parts of the nights are important. Get your sleep. If you've learned something, if this has been helpful, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to learn more about sleep and food as medicine, check out our website, drhamiltonstubs.com. I hope you'll subscribe to our channel and please share the video.